What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and today we're doing some special holiday related pops and Star Wars, so that's always fun to do. So we're sitting here around the Christmas tree celebrating Christmas Eve and everything, and I thought might as well just show off some of our pops that we got, and we got some the Star Wars Christmas set or holiday set, whatever they want to call them. I'm not really uh, sure what we're uh, going to go with. I moved all these, now I don't need to. Um, but we've got... So we're going to start off, uh, we're going just in the order of the numbers. So we've got R2-D2, C-3PO, Yoda, Chewbacca, and Darth Vader. So this is the entire set as far as I know. Obviously there's chases and stuff that would have been cool to get, but unfortunately wasn't able to find those or get them or anything. So we're just doing the normal layout, but yeah, I think pretty sure we got them all, all five of them. So let's go ahead and open them, take a look at each one and see how they've kind of changed them up, whatever, for the holiday season. So our first one here, we've got Rudolph the Red Nose R2-D2. <laughs> I don't know what they call it, I'm just coming up with uh, some fun names for him and everything so here we've got r2d2 who does have some antlers attached to his head so he's got some blocks with some like uh I assume they're just supposed to be antlers. I don't know if they're maybe sticks or something, you know, shaped into antler designs attached to his head, which is kind of funny. So this is um, an older thing. I forget when this was created, but I know they've been doing these uh, Christmas Star Wars characters for a while. And actually, a couple years ago, I got this little R2-D2 ornament that's just based off this one, the R2-D2 with antlers on its head. But as you can see, he's got some reindeer antlers with some, uh, I guess, some bulbs attached to his head. I don't know if they're supposed to be lights. There is a black cord wrapped around them attached to these bulbs on if they're supposed to be you know like Christmas lights or if they're just like ornaments or something attached to it but we've got um Rudolph the Red Nose R2-D2 it'd be funny if his little um like uh little whatever this thing is called I wouldn't say vision thing but I don't really know if it was red so it'd be you know like a Rudolph red nose and stuff but we've got reindeer R2-D2 which is so much fun and it's just a, the classic Star Wars bobblehead nothing too special about the actual body it's just Rudolph and then he's got the antler stuck on his head and the head is bobbly and stuff and it's on the Star Wars base which is fun and everything and so there we've got R2-D2 now R2-D2 got antlers put on his head because he had been commissioned by Santa 3PO to become his reindeer and to pull his sleigh because C-3PO wants to play Santa Claus to get everyone to love him because you know everyone loves Santa Claus so we have C-3PO you know pretending to dress up as Santa Claus and you know to get all the kids and everybody to like him again so we've got C-3PO just in his normal gold robotic body but this time he has a Santa hat on here with some uh, mistletoe there like a little spring of mistletoe he may want to kiss or something um maybe from Chewbacca I don't know and then he's got of course a Santa jacket on the red jacket with the white frilling all the way around it and then he does have the fake Santa beard to put on around his face you know to make him look like Santa Claus and so he's got the white beard and everything um but unfortunately he gets uh messed up as we'll see here in a second he gets overtaken by the true Santa Claus of Star Wars and so this is just a fun, again, C-3PO, just in his normal look. He's got the same C-3PO face, all gold body, and then the legs and everything down there. And then his hands, you can see, are gold as well and look robotic. And you kind of see some of his chest in there, too, under the Santa jacket. Um, so that's just a fun little pop, you know, dressing up like Santa Claus. I am disappointed that they made, mul like, multiples of these in a set. Um, the Santa Claus figures, I wish they would have done something different for each one. But it's just kind of fun to see, you know, C-3PO. Um, dressing up as Santa Claus and again it is the bobblehead and everything as you can see and it looks really fun and everything so that's C-3PO can you hear that can, can you hear <coughs> oh I hear some music someone tell me some music oh here comes Yoda Claus and here is the true Santa Claus of Star Wars we've got Yoda of course he shows up disappoints C-3PO and C-3PO standing with his mouth open like with it holding his beard getting ready to put it on be like but I'm supposed to be the Santa Claus everyone's supposed to love me but of course everyone's favorite creature comes in the true Santa Claus of Star Wars and so here we have Yoda dressed in his Santa Claus outfit so we've got little tiny Yoda with his green face and ears sticking out of course being curved as they are in the Clone Wars so it is kind of based more off the Clone Wars uh, uh, Yoda here and so we've got his Santa hat on, so no mistletoe or anything sprug on his head. Um, but he's got the Santa hat on with, of course, the ball sticking down there on the side. And then, of course, you can see his white hair sticking off in the back here. It would be funny if he had a beard, but they didn't include one on him. Then he's got this Santa jacket on that's all closed up. He's got the belt on and everything, so he's ready to be Santa Claus. He's coming in with a big bag of lightsabers and kyber crystals for all the good Jedis. And then, of course, his walking cane to help him walk. And his cute little green feet there and everything. So... It's fun to see 
uh, Lil Yodi here dressed up as Santa Claus. Again, I would have liked if they would have only included one character out of this set to be Santa Claus and, you know, maybe C-3PO or something else. But that's just, again, these are based off older things and that's just how they've designed them and everything in the past. So that's what they have to go with and everything. So that's so much fun. And again, of course, Yoda is one of my favorite um, characters from Star Wars. So it's fun to see him here as Santa Claus. And I like how that they gave him the bag and everything. So it makes it a lot of fun. So that's going to be it for Yoda Claus. Now in the spirit of the holiday season, you always got to put up decorations like we have a tree. And so trying to help put up decorations was Chewbacca, but he kind of got entangled in a little mess here. So here we have Chewbacca all wrapped up around with Christmas lights. So these are the actual, Chris, you know, for sure Christmas lights by the design and everything. Has the black cord wrapped all the way around him. He's just all tangled up. It's wrapped around his legs, around his body, around his hands and head and everything all wrapped up. And as you can see, he's got an angry look on his face and he's just tired of him. He's just going to rip these this cord up and everything as you can see in his hands there he's just got his hands he's just gonna rip them apart to get him off of because he's all tangled up but I like all the red and green lights that they added onto this um again this is a different Chewbacca um I can't say that for sure about all the other characters we've seen like if they're different forms or anything but I would say this for sure is a different one because of him doing the pulling part with um the cord and everything so I like how they did do a new mold for that um to actually you know make him have his hands out like that because they weren't like that before but we've got our classic Chewbacca beyond that though so he's got of course all his long brown furry hair uh hanging us uh, sitting around, I don't know what you'd say, um, but there, then he's got, of course, his bandolier bag um, hanging off onto the side here, and then, again, he's just all wrapped up in the Christmas lights. It'd be cool if this was a light-up one and all the lights lit up. It'd be kind of fun um, if they did that, but um, unfortunately, they don't, so, uh, but this is so much fun to see Chewbacca and everything all wrapped up, and again, another bobblehead to go, and I like his angry mouth and stuff there, and snarl on his face, like, I hit these things, but that's just so much fun, so it's fun to see Chewbacca get in the holiday spirit. And finally, sometimes we've got some relatives or distant parents and stuff that aren't really there for our kids. But, you know, you got to make up for somehow. Usually on Christmas, they, you know, make sure they overbuy presents, get the most expensive presents, or just give kids what they want. And kids love candy. So here we've got Darth Vader with a candy cane. He's going to come in and try and win Luke back and show that he actually does love his son and wants to be good and everything. So we've got Darth Vader coming in here with a candy cane lightsaber. At least I'm going to say it's a lightsaber. It could just be a giant candy cane. But here we've got Darth Vader so nothing besides the candy cane really um, holiday or Christmassy about him he's just here he's got his big old helmet here as you can see the bobblehead helmet there of the classic Darth Vader face and then we've got Darth Vader uh, standing here actually Mm, no, I was going to say maybe by his hand, it's the uh, Rogue One version, but his hand was more up, like choking. But it is kind of doing a little choker force there going on with his hand. I don't know if you can really see that there, um, but he is kind of up to something there, maybe trying to do a Jedi mind trick or actually choking someone um, without them knowing. He's trying to you know, act all good and everything, bringing in candy canes, but then he's really dark. Um, he does have his lightsaber hanging on his uh, belt right over here. Then, of course, he's got all the gears and gadgets on his front chest, and then, of course, the candy cane, the long candy cane. Um, it'd be fun to know about these things, if it's supposed to be a real candy cane, or is he going to have a lightsaber candy cane? It'd be, I like to think it's a lightsaber, but obviously not his, because his is there, but just a different version. Um, and then it's just Darth Vader the rest of the way around. He does have a cape that is kind of flowing. I like how they have the flow to it, and everything makes it all fun. Um, but yeah, I wish they would have done something more about it. Um, maybe give his lights his eyes light up red and green or something i don't know of course he does have all the red and green lights from his armor and stuff but just something more festive about him would have been fun to add to it um but i guess that's gonna be it for darth vader so that's going to be it for this Star Wars holiday or Christmas pops, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it was fun to see all the different Star Wars characters dressed up. I hope they continue to like expand this line out, adding more characters, making them more Christmasized, I guess as you um, could say, call it or whatever, adding more holiday stuff. So I have a whole collection, you know, could add to decorations such as under a Christmas tree or something. That'd be so much fun. But I just want to thank you all so much for watching and making this the best year we've had here on the Awesome Nerd Channel. And just from our family here at the Awesome Nerd Channel to you, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.